As a true classic of offshore racing, the Rolex Sydney Hobart Yacht Race is the pinnacle of every yachtsman's racing calendar and never ceases to deliver a feast for competitors and spectators alike. First away from the line are the biggest boats, the 100-footers. All four of these yachts have proven track records over the 628 nautical mile course. And they're away on the 73rd Rolex Sydney Hobart. The race to Hobart is go. Blackjack, terrific start, midline. Little boat, Wild Oats, well back. Well back at the moment. There's Mark Richards just looking to line up. These big boats. Uncharacteristically, Wild Oats 11 just sitting back a little bit, caught out a little bit at the start. Big line, go mate on. It's not quite the same conditions. You can see the heel angle on uh, Blackjack is quite significantly more. Two litres. Blackjack has got Comanche locked out there. Comanche could not tack, but what air from this front lot of yachts it's very difficult back there the the air's all over this place in this lighter air it's all split up by these sails there's the sound pig reef just in the top of screen power up a lot more and she's just advancing ever so slightly two liters have sprung away from wild oats 11 and certainly info track this little wild oats 10 that's done it. Blackjack in line to uh, take the honours out of Sydney Harbour. An impressive display by both uh, speed up the harbour. Jimmy Spittle, you'd think, would be pretty happy with the way this is performing right now. Very much so, with the first massive curl from side to side. Sheared off, and she had to retire in the middle of Bass Strait. Here's the turning mark. So just... Almost licking his lips, he knows he's going to make some ground up and most likely get past Comanche. As soon as they get to the turning mark, They'll be easing sheets for Hobart. The breeze will strengthen. Now you've got Comanche, without doubt, you know, the, the fastest monohull in the world. And Wild Oats and Blackjack are the great machines. You've got last year's race winner and record-breaking boat in InfraTrack, so it's going to be a very exciting race to watch. Blackjack and LDV Comanche got the better starts, with Wild Oats 11 playing catch-up from the off. But they soon found their pace and sneaked ahead of LDV Comanche with a bold manoeuvre that risked infringement. is tacking. Oh, this is close. Whoa. Oh, protest. <laughs> protest they're calling. Let's listen, let's listen. Jimmy Spittle says should we hold there? Did they tack too close? Did Wild Oats Wild Oats tack too close? How far to lay line, Stan? No protest. Stan, how far to lay line? Gee, that is about as close as you want to get to multi-million dollar maxis. DV Comanche had all the rights because she was on starboard tack. Wild Oats had no rights. She had action there. Unbelievable. And while that's happening, Blackjack has made a break. Their flag. See that red flag under, just behind our camera girl there? That's the protest flag around in those days but there's the protest flag so that means that jimmy spithill to see a little bit more but you can see the real difference between these two boats yeah. the, the big beautiful reaching headsail sail set to perfection mm. and they're 15 18 20 knots down the coast and by this time tomorrow they will be absolutely rocketing inside the the uh the front reaching sail they've got a, a said peters it's such a such a test of seamanship speaking of which is our mel mcpherson goodbye guys <laughs> she's off there goes her camera and gear and there's a pickup boat right there to get her in we put a helicopter up above to keep an eye on her she's got a life jacket on as well but first they'll recover mel and next up we get the camera gear. Ooh, oh okay i think the dismount was better <laughs> than the uh, entry into the boat Pete, but she's in safely well done mel they've done a great job pete haven't they the blackjack crew very cool, calm and collected at the start, did a nice job. Meanwhile, Blackjack stayed free of trouble. To win the race to the Sydney Heads had to be the first boat out into open water. The current forecast suggests that a new course record might be possible for one of the big four. 
but the overall win looks most likely to be taken by one of the mid-sized boats. It's the best competition that, in my view that's ever run in a Rolex Sydney to Hobart Yacht Race and therefore the competition is going to be red hot. 102 boats representing 27 nations create a spectacular vista as they make their way through the myriad of spectator craft out into open water embarking upon what is set to be another memorable Rolex Sydney Hobart yacht race.